Tilsh right here, brings our video, and in this video, uh, this is for anyone that is brand new to Autodesk Maya 2016. Um, it could be, a, you know, extension 1 or extension 2 or whatever it is, um, or even 2017, but uh, this is my 2016 extension 2, as you can see right up here. And this is basically for people who are just brand new to the program. Basically, when you start it up, um, you're going to see this plane right here, and you probably don't even know what the hotkeys are, so you just hold down Alt and you left click to orbit and then alt um, right click to zoom in you'll get really used to this too and then you can go alt and then uh, middle mouse button like the little scroller thing and you press that and that'll pan around the view so it's pretty good, uh, you know, pretty simple very similar to Cinema 4D um, so yeah and then as you can see on the left side here I'll, I'll go all, you know, I'll go over all this stuff too but um, basically what you do is you do W, E, and R. So W is to move, E is to rotate an object, and R is to rotate one. We'll go into objects soon, probably in the next video. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, as you can see, you know, everything's just very complicated and everything. But once you get, you know, used to it, it's very, you know, easy and, you know, easy to use and everything. So um, this is like your views here. So you can go to, um, this is like your standard view here. If you click on this one, it'll give you like all four of the views. So you can get like the top view, the front view, the side view, and stuff like that. So if we even just went to polygons and then it says little cube right here, you just click that. It automatically creates so and it might it might even spawn in like this like at like a wireframe mode but you could, but then you just go right up here press the solid note and it just turns into like a solid thing and then press R and then you can scale it up if you wanted to so very basics you know very basic stuff so if you wanted to scale it this way then you know you see the front of it's here so it'll be like right here and then the side of it is right here but for now um, it's just, you know, just a tutorial and everything like that, so, yeah, and then this is right here is the outliner, so this is, like, what you have in your scene, so if you have a cube, a sphere, and a cylinder, it'll say cube, sphere, cylinder, and you can change them all around and everything, so, everything's like that, and then, um, yeah, so this is, like, your, your perspective is, like, you know, your viewer, right, so, like, I'm in the perspective mode right now, the camera is, um, you know, like, what I'm moving around right now, so, um, yeah, and then the default light set, just keep this, you know, like, keep this alone, you know, nothing really here, but, um, yeah, and then, um, it's like your graph editor here, it just kind of shows, like, if you did any anim animations or whatever right here, it'll show that there, um, and it's like your node editor, so it'll load up, and then, um, you know, this is like, actually, yeah, this is like your, uh, um, this is your hypershade, so, yeah, not the, yeah, not the node, this is your hypershade, so, hypershade is like your texturing kind of thing, right, so you have, a ton of these, it's kind of, you know, chopped off in a way, but, um, yeah, so I have a ton of these, and go Lambert 1, all the text train and everything, but I'll do that, you know, in, in another video, and, um, yeah, and then this is, like, the, you know, all-in-one kind of thing, so, um, you definitely, you know, change your mind, like, with these and everything, but let's go right back to the regular grid here, and let's, let's review these top, um, you know, tools right here, so in the modeling, you'll see, mesh, edit mesh, and there's all these tools here, um, all for modeling, so, modeling to rigging, if you were, like, to rig a character, then you would do, like, the skeleton, create joints for them, and everything like that, so, it's just the basics of, like, where everything is, so, texturing, and, like, lighting, and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool, and then you could just do customize there, um, so now let's go to this middle bar right here, so this is kind of, like, your open folder kind of thing right here, this right here is kind of like if you wanted to select like multiple kind of objects here or just like you know a single object or something like that there um and then you know i just kind of get these all selected there so uh yeah that's that and then it's like your magnetic kind of thing so if you were to you know move it to like a certain you know uh point you know on the grid here you would use those and it's like the um this, these are like the rendering settings so go to rendering settings here you can see all this again i'll explain it in another video but um, probably went mentally in there, but probably default is my software, and then, you know, you just render out your scene, and, uh, yeah, and then, let's go down to here, these are, like, your shelves, so you have curved surfaces, polygons, and you have all of your tools here, and I've even created one, um, my, just myself, a a MFM, which means Minecraft Fantasy Movie, yes, guys, that's the, the Minecraft Fantasy Movie that I created back in June of 2015, and, uh, yeah, this is the, you know, this is what I used to do it, and stuff, so, yeah, so that's that, and then you can v go view, 
I know there's a lot of stuff here. Wireframe, you add like the you know X-ray and shading and stuff like that. All the, all the lighting, and they could go show, and you can go like the you know, poly count and stuff like that. That's what this is. So if I create a cube, cube has you know six faces. There you go, six faces, edges, that many edges, and everything. So yeah, and then um, then what we're gonna do is uh, this is like your kind of X-ray mode too. So if I create a extra create a uh, a sphere here. So if we make that sphere larger, then yeah, let's make that like kind of sitting right on top of the grid right there. This is your X-ray mode. You can see like all like the wireframe and everything. Kind of, kind of looks like a little globe. It's pretty cool. And then it's like you're shaded on. It's like your actual like mesh thing. This is kind of like the half texture, half off. And then this is it. If you were to select like this and select like that, it'll just show the wireframe. You know, anyway, and this is the texture mode because I have like the little checker box right here. This is the lighting. It's black because there's no light. If you did add a light, if um, if you did, it would be right here, like a point light, and then you would just put that right there, and it would light that side of it up. But we're gonna explain lights later. Ambient occlusion. If you were to just kind of, you know, select these faces here, go to your modeling toolkit and extrude that. I'm just showing you guys like what it is. Then. It would create this like shadow here and then shadow off, shadow on, shadow off, shadow, you know, kind of thing right there. Motion blur, I really don't know like what, I don't know. It doesn't really affect much at all. I, I keep this usually off. I don't really see a difference with it. And then anti-aliasing right here, 16 samples. So you see this very crooked edge right here. Boom, all smooth. I use this a lot in my animation. just kind of like see smooth edges, but um, yeah, so that's pretty, that's pretty much that. So that's pretty much it. And then there's, you know, there's X-ray mode, um, and then there's, like, you know, some cool, like, exposure and, uh, like, gamma, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, and this is like, your attribute editor here. This is your timeline of when you want to, like, animate. Uh, and, you know, you can always change it to, like, okay, this is 24 frames per second. I usually keep it, like, 30 because 24 is a little bit laggy at sometimes. Um, but, I may, you know, I may do, it like, 60. And then I could just kind of, with this, uh, you know, uh, white cube right here, I could just kind of, you know, like, white square. Just kind of go all the way and it will just extend right to 60 and this right here will just bring you to the website and uh, yeah but that's it in explore I have Google Chrome <laughs> so um yeah so this is basically it. you guys have any questions on any like beginners um, you know like anything on, like the UI you can definitely answer that in the comments down below but this is very just the basics of um, you know like just navigating the UI or you or um, uh, user interface of Maya like this video if this helped you out with, uh, without a Desmaya. Subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Comment down below if you have any questions. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.